humanity has come to an important decision. Two futures stand before us. We can continue on our current path, where we rely on outdated electricity grids, inefficient buildings, and dirty power plants that contaminate our air. Or, we can change. We can create greener cities where solar panels and wind turbines power our homes, where buildings use less energy and save money, where our air and water are cleaner, our quality of life is better, and our economy is stronger. Join us. It's time to green our cities. Please stand and join us in the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for the Texas flag. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. And now for a moment of silence. Attention freshmen, we want you to vote for Hunger Games champion, Chris Schatz. Chris Schatz is running for sophomore class president. But not only is he running, he's also riding a scooter. Chris Schatz has an enormous amount of charisma. Chris Schatz is a member of the Pine Tree Band and that science team. Don't let that fool you, he is also a Jedi Master who balances the Force. Chris Schatz wants to serve in the voice of next year's sophomore class. So remember, vote for Chris, because he's just like you. Good morning, I'm Cindy Gaypard, principal at Pine Tree High School, and many of you know Cliff Lightfoot, he's the senior assistant principal. I want to tell you some exciting news this morning. I want to say congratulations to Dr. Cliff Lightfoot. Dr. Lightfoot defended his dissertation just yesterday, and he will be receiving his doctorate this summer. So I just want us to say congratulations. Congratulations, Dr. Lightfoot. Thank you so much, Ms. Gabehart. And students, if I can do this, you can do anything you want to do. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you. Good morning. I'm Mrs. Gabehart, your principal, and there are just a couple of things I want to talk to you about today. All year long, we've done our best to be as flexible as we can with you and uh, to allow you some freedom. There are three things I want to talk to you about today that we're going to need to tighten up on. One, we're going to talk about headphones. We see you walk around campus, people are beginning to run into each other, they don't hear that others are talking to them, and so beginning the Monday after Easter, we are going to ask you to put up your headphones. The only place that you need to have your headphones are in the cafeteria, it's great if you have them in the cafeteria. You can have them in your classroom if the teacher allows you to have them in your classroom. So those are the two places. Classrooms, if teachers allow it, and then the cafeteria. Otherwise, please put them in your backpack so that they're not visible. And please do not walk around with your headphones showing. Beginning the Monday after Easter, we'll take those up and uh, ask you not to have those visible. One more thing is, as you've noticed, holes in the jeans are recurring and coming back. You're not allowed to have holes in your clothes, so please do not wear those to school. Wear those on the weekends or some other time that you want to, but no holes in your clothes. Last thing is leggings. You see that we have allowed leggings and we've gotten very, very flexible on that. By choice, we want you to have some freedoms, but your shirt or your top must be mid-thigh if you wear those leggings. Otherwise, we'll ask you to call for a change of clothes. Thank you for listening to those three things. Have a great day. If you're interested in the 
Drivers Ed classroom portion, please sign up in the library before April the 18th. Classes will start on the 21st, and you must be 15 years old, and you will have to pay 60 bucks. Dual credit announcement. If you're interested in this kind of stuff, the meeting in the library has moved to April 22nd. On February 12th and March 3rd, it uh, we had bad weather, so uh, some of you might be a little concerned that this would count against your exemptions, and it won't. Don't worry about it. Going bad. She's the best. I call her Kimmy. She's dependable and really pretty. She's careful. She helped me cross the road when she reached to little children. Man, her heart just grows. You may fall in love when you meet her. If you get the chance, you better keep her. She's sweet as pie, and if you vote for her, she'll make you a